Hey everyone, welcome back to more Dreamline Valley and today we're going to be covering what you need to know about the first major update to the game, the Scar update. Now I know I'm a little bit late on this information, but last week I was traveling, I had to do some stuff for YouTube, YouTube paid for me to go out to Atlanta for a ceremony and it was really fun, but I missed out on the update, but we're here, better late than never, right? Anyway, before we get into it, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new and click that bell icon so you can see when we drop videos and streams if you want to know when we're streaming you got to make sure that bell icon is clicked so youtube can send you the notifications without further ado let's get into the first thing you should know about the update so the first thing you should know about the update is that scar is a little bit of a jerk yeah <laughs> so i did a poll with my viewers and we ranked the villains uh and determined who was the worst one and scar won by a land shark he's he's a bit of a jerk but if you've watched the lion king movie then you know you know that's pretty much his personality he, he he treats you very badly let's go ahead and talk to him so you can get a little example of this Greetings. here hmm that's all he has to say is hmm and let's talk to him tell me about you you're staring at my scar aren't you want to know how i got it sure oh there are so many dangers that can leave a mark let's play a game guess how i got my scar um mufasa you think my brother mufasa gave me this scar an accident while we were cubs or not such an accident why he became a king. Perhaps, but I'll never say. It's far too private a memory. Okay, so he won't even tell us. And remember, it's our little secret. Oh, and he hits you with that line from the Lion King when he told Simba after Mufasa died. See, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? But yeah, uh, Scar has a lot of other voice lines and a lot of other dialogue where he just treats you like one of the little hyenas that, that are running around, so. He's not a very nice fella. Worse than Gothel and worse than Ursula. <laughs> so you probably won't have a lot of fun talking to him. But let's move on to the next thing. All right. So one of the first quests you're going to have to do in the new update is this quest that involves burying the orb near the pillar. The orb of nurturing near the pillar and watering it. Now I'm going to go ahead and water it right now. But there's something you probably should know. There is a recipe that you can do that will make this orb grow a lot faster because normally the orb will take days to grow. It takes a few days for it to grow. I'm on day number three, I think. But if I go to my, my crafting table here, let me show you. If I go to my crafting table and we're gonna pop up, we are gonna see the inside of my house. I've been doing, I've been redecorating a little bit here. Here's my nice little crafting room if you haven't seen it. If we go to my crafting table, there is a recipe now here that is called the even more miraculous growth elixir. If you make this, which takes a few a, a few ingredients, and I'll tell you where to get the rich soil later as well. But if you craft this, then anything you water within the next 30 minutes, I believe will grow instantly, including that orb, including the orb. But now there are some caveats to it. When you first plant the orb and you water it, make sure you're not using the the more miraculous elixir because that could cause some issues apparently at least that's what the devs are saying so plant it and water it just like normal uh just following the quest line make sure you follow the quest line make sure you follow that don't mess that up and then the next time you have to water it which is in 24 hours you can use that miraculous growth elixir and it will grow instantly apparently i haven't done it yet because again i don't want to mess up my game the devs are saying that that elixir can cause some issues, so uh, I just don't want to use it. I don't want anything to be messed up, but that's a little tip for you if you want to give it a shot. I've heard it works for a lot of people, so give it a shot and let me know in the comments what happens. So a cool new area that you will discover while playing through the update is this mine. It's kind of hard to miss. You, have, you actually have to go here, but I believe this is called the Vitalis Mine, and this is not only a source of a quest, but it is a good source of iron as you know a lot of these quests a lot of these things you need to craft they require iron and iron can only be found in two different locations the glade in the forest but now you have a third location these mines so bring your mining buddy down here and start cracking these rocks and you should find a decent amount of iron i just i just i just got a whole bunch of stuff here <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and get these get them get them get them get them get them these are useful as well i believe these are useful for something i forget um, I think for that growth elixir, I'm, I do believe. But anyway, come on down to the mines, get to cracking, and get yourself a bunch of iron ore. Leveling Scar. Leveling Scar's friendship. 
<laughs> he just said I'm surrounded by fools. Anyway, leveling Scar's friendship. You know, being friends with Scar is that's that's kind of you know saying a lot. You probably would never be completely friends with him, but leveling up his friendship, the easiest way to do it is to make him gardening. As a matter of fact, you should probably make all your characters gardening going forward because it just they, they level up so fast. So you're gonna be doing a lot of gardening, especially if you've been working on you know your pumpkin farms and your pumpkin patches, all that. Gardening is the way to do it. Uh, my scar is already time. level. I believe he's level eight or seven. Uh, let me. Yeah, he's level seven. So that's just in the first day. I've only been playing this update a couple of days now. So in the first day, we already got him to like level seven. Easy peasy. Uh, but yeah, gardening is the way to do it. And you know, oh, no. it is, it's kind of funny to scar this oh, this ferocious yes. villain having them, you know, pluck up pumpkins for you. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. So level up the friendship. Use gardening. Another cool thing you can do in this update now is you can pet your companions before you could not. But I have this nice little wind up uh, raccoon that you get from the star path. By the way, make sure you unlock your new star path. And I have something to say about that in a moment. But if I just walk over to my little guy, I can pet them. If he'll stop running away, there we go. Pet them. They do a little dance, have a little heart. Now, I'm not sure what the heart actually does. If they have their own friendship level for companions or if it's something hidden. But yeah, they do a little dance or they move around a little bit. They show that they liked it and uh, yeah, you can pet them now. So go ahead and start petting your companions. And speaking of companions, we might as well hop right into the next thing here too. There is a new companion. If I go to the Forgotten Lands, if you go to the Forgotten Lands, there are new companions and they are these ravens as you can see right here. Now these are just, these are easy to feed. All you have to do is just stop moving, don't move, and eventually, and eventually they'll stop circling and you can approach them and uh, feed them. Now, what they like <laughs> to be fed are five star meals. You can probably get away with four star, but five star meals are what they really love. Um, and you have to feed them a few times, obviously, and then you can have them as a companion. There's this black one. I think there's a white one as well that I fed earlier. And um, yeah, so grab your, oh, look at this one. This one's cool. Look at that one. And yeah, that was actually pretty nice. Black and red. That was pretty nice. So grab yourself your new Raven companions. And uh, I wonder, can you pet them too? You probably can. Let me know in the comments. Speaking of the star path, there's something very important you should be aware of, especially if you only bought the normal edition of the game. Make sure you are saving your moonstones. Make sure you're saving them. Don't spend them on the star path because it costs 200. No, sorry. It costs 2,400, 2,400. It costs 2,400 moonstones in order to unlock the premium version of the star path. And you want to have that premium version or else you're missing out on a lot of cool content. And if you've been spinning a bunch of them in the previous, in the previous star path, then you probably won't have enough to unlock the premium version, especially if you don't have one of the higher edition of the game, like the ultimate edition or, or whatever. So make sure you're saving them. And then the moonstones that you get from this star path again, save them and use them towards the next star path. Okay. Unless you want to dish out some more real money, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure you don't. So just take my advice and actually this star path have some pretty cool items, some pretty cool Halloween type items and some cool villainous items as well. So this one's a good, a good fun one for this month. Here is the tip you're really going to thank me for start saving up your night shards now if you have not already done so because apparently there is a quest from scar that requires 50 night shards and me right about now i have zero because i just used them all for a different quest so while you're walking around make sure you're digging up those holes don't walk by them those glowing holes i'm looking for one right now as a matter of fact but make sure you dig them up and start start hoarding those night shards it's gonna make your life a little bit easier when that quest rolls up um so you won't have to be you know spending a whole bunch of more time even more time finding them after the fact so get those night shards i hope you know uh, i kind of liked it when those night thorns dropped a bunch of night shards <laughs> they kind of changed it now they drop the dream shards more often but yeah night shards 50 of them start collecting them right now oh here's one right here look at this speak of the devil let's go ahead and click this one up and I get one night shard. You, you do have the ability to get two, but I just got one. Oh, what is this? Some candy on the ground. Did I put this down here? What is this? Oh, I've never seen this before. Ooh, I got some candy. Ooh, I've actually never seen this before. So you can get some green candy or probably different color candies by walking around. That's nice. 
That's cool. <laughs> well, there you go. Another. There's more. This must have just happened. This must have just happened for this week. Because I was playing over the weekend and I didn't see this. There's a, there is everywhere. It's everywhere. The candy's everywhere. Whoa. I did not know this. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. Surprise for me. Surprise for me. Anyway, get your candies, dig up your holes, and get to going. Ooh, move. Two more. Two more. So a few cool things regarding houses. So Mickey, Merlin, and Goofy have their houses redecorated. So let's take a look at Mickey's new house. There it is right there. It looks pretty nice. I think those windows are new uh, and some other things as well, but it looks pretty nice. While we're in here, I can show you this as well. There is new lighting in the houses. So if you have windows in your house, then they will actually show light correctly. You see the light coming through, the light coming through the window. That's a very, very cool feature. It makes it just makes everything look uh, that much nicer. So all the houses should have that. Um, it may, if you're playing on PC, it may depend on your graphic settings as well. Uh, so just keep that in mind, but new lighting and also the houses look a little different. Mickey, Merlin and Goofy. Let's take a look at Goofy's house. I think Merlin's new house looks the best. Uh, let's go take a look at Merlin's really quickly here. So that's Goofy's house as well. And Merlin's actually looks really cool. They did his, they, they did them pretty good. Let's go take a look right over here, right over Yander. Uh, where am I going? Merlin, how you doing, Merlin? How you doing, my friend? There he is. Let's go look inside Merlin's new house. And here it is. Look at that. You see? That looks better. That looks better. And again, the lighting peeping in through the windows looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. And you can do the same thing in your house as well. So if you put windows inside your house, then you'll have lighting coming in uh, through those windows. So that is an awesome new feature and awesome new redecorations of those houses. And finally, a few miscellaneous things in the update. So Donald Duck, <laughs> they they made him cool down a little bit. He doesn't freak out as long uh, as before. So that should be uh, that should be that should be good for some of you. Uh, actually, you know, I did get a little bit annoyed, but I kind of got used to it. I kind of got used to Donald Duck, you know, having his little meltdown for like 10 minutes <laughs> before he finally gave up. Another thing is, you know, there was such a hassle, such annoying trying to get, you know, Ariel and, and Ursula to stay put and come near you sometimes. But now if you are near them, then they will swim over to you more often now. So you don't have to chase them down and, and they just disappear. So that's a cool new thing here. There's a lot of other little tidbits in the update. You can read the official patch notes. I'll try to leave a link in the description. If, uh, if I don't, then remind me. <laughs> but there's a lot of cool things in the update. Let me know how you have been enjoying the update. Uh, is it better for you? Is it crashing less? I've been hearing some good things. I've been hearing some some bad things as well. But let me know how things are going for you. Are you happy with the new content? Are you already done with the new content? Uh, let me know. And I'm looking forward to the next update. If you don't know about the next update, then soon, probably about the end of uh, November, we're going to be having the Toy Story update. So Woody, Buzz, a new realm as well. I'm actually pretty excited because Toy Story is one of my favorite franchises. I still, I grew up watching those movies and love them. Even as an adult, I love them. So uh, I'm looking, definitely looking forward to that. There's Ursula and she just, she just ran away from me. There you go. <laughs> I guess they lied because <laughs> she just ran away. But anyway, drop a like on the video. Let me know what you think about all the updates. Let me know if there's things that I miss. Leave some comments to uh, help other people out that are playing playing the game. And again, like I mentioned earlier, click that bell icon so you can see when we upload videos or when we live stream so YouTube can send you that notification. All right. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Bye.